Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see behind me, the weather is pretty gloomy and wet, so I can't really do anything under the vehicle. So I'm gonna uh, attack on a project that I can actually do it inside. All right, let's check it out. So this is my home made uh, center console that I made, which uh, hold my laundry here. Right now, I'm holding nothing but junk, and I have stuff that I store under here, which take up space, but uh, not very useful space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build another center console that will incorporate my new uh, LiFo. 1200 watt hour battery into it and still have my uh, hand rest up over here so I'm gonna take it out remove it and build another one with the same height same foot base probably a little bit more in here so I get more space under so the battery can stay under so I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna take it inside all right so in order to get that center console out, I have to remove, move all this stuff out of the way in order to pull it out. So that way I can bring it inside the garage and use that old home build cabinet into uh, same height, same width, and then we'll be able to hold the battery and everything else to make a house battery uh, container there. All right. So I have to lean the seat back the way passenger mode and move pretty much all my kitchen stuff to the back you can see it's a whole lot of mess going on but it's an organized mess in order to have room to remove this uh, center console all right let's get it down all right so it took a little bit of wiggling to get it out but i got it out so this is what the amount of space i have to work with to make a cabinet that will hold the whole battery and everything else and convert this area into a house battery area. All right, let's get to uh, building the actual cabinet itself. All right, so I brought, took it out of um, my minivan camper and then bring it inside the garage so I can work at it. But before I even attempt to build anything, I always check, make sure what I'm about to do is gonna work. So I test it out. I hook up the battery to the char uh, charger controller and I happen to have a portable uh, solar panel so I hook it up and make sure everything works before I even try to build something, right? Make sure it works. So let's see how, what we're getting. Right now we're getting 14 watt, 14 volt from the solar panel. The battery is reading at 13.4. And let's see. Let's see how much amp we get from. It say load. That mean we put nothing right now. See that fourteen point volts from the solar panel. And you can see the symbol. The solar panel is going to the battery at four amp. Point four amp times fourteen. So you am getting about ten watt. Not much because, you know, it's cloudy right now. But it's better than nothing, right? So I'm going to leave it running. Yeah, we get about 10 what? No, not even 14 times 0.4. It's about 7 what? But we know it is charging, so. I'm going to go ahead and start um, using my, uh, my old home built here to make the uh, to hold this battery and everything else hook up to it all right so before I build something I usually kind of doodle a little bit do a little bit of drafting with all the dimension that I am gonna plan on that way I will figure out how to cut stuff but because this is a weird uh, fitness in the vehicle so I have to do a bottom one a little bit wider than the top. Come on now, don't get blurry on me. Yeah, the bottom 
Here you can look at the rear view uh, picture. The bottom is about 12 inches width, but the top part is only eight and a half width. So my plan is to build uh, the bottom one open so I can slide the battery in and out. So I don't have to leave the battery in the vehicle all the time because I don't live full time in the minivan campus. I want to have that option to bring in and out that this battery with ease. Just slide in and out from the back. And you can see the total dimension of the height is 17 and a half. And the bottom uh, storage area is nine and a half inch height. And the top uh, storage area where the handrest gonna be is eight inch total. So total the height is 17 and a half. Eight, 9.7, 9.5 is 17 and a half total. And the length of this uh, cabinet gonna be two feet. So I'm gonna start building now. It's time to cut the wood. I'm gonna try to reuse whatever I can. Repurpose, right? So if you follow me previously, these are my uh, built, previous built inside the minivan camper. So I'm gonna, that used to be my kitchenette. That's my uh, clothing storage above the middle seat. These are good wood, already painted. So I'm gonna reuse all this to make a new uh, center console with the dimension I have here. This is perfectly two feet with, uh, length, so that's perfect uh, for making a new top, bottom part here. All right. So I cut down to 12 inches width, but I test it out. I still need about half inch to clear this. So all we uh, make sure this is not the bottom part. This will be the top part. But I want to make sure it fit because the top bottom will be open to the floor. So that way I can slide the battery in and out easily. Yeah, always test it out before you do a final uh, assembly of the bottom. This is going to be the bottom section of the Santa console. And it would be, uh, I believe, nine and a half inch height. So I'm going to have to go trim this down a little bit. All right, all right. So the hard part of this uh, Santa console slash uh, house battery storage is done. So I will build this. You probably build a little box, this box. However, this box have a uh, swinging uh, opening here, right here. And you can see I have my uh, inverter 400 watt here. I have the chart uh, controller there and leave it in this room here for later on for kind of like a fuse box slash uh, what do you call them? You branch it out to different uh, supply. See how this over here for going out. So that's going to be coming out like that. All right, let's see. So. This is a connector for um, Jackery, I believe it's an eight millimeter. Uh, this is a fee, actually this is a male uh, and. So if you have a portable uh, Jackery 100 watt, you can just plug this straight in here and, and charge. And it's gonna go through the controller and then it's gonna go to the battery, which is hidden under here. It can be easily removed. Let me see if you can do this with one hand. Oop. Ah, sorry. Yeah, it's hard to do with one hand. So, I personally do it this way so I can easily remove this. Of course, I'm gonna do a little and a little bit different than this. Cause this is not a stable mouse. Cause later on, remember, I'm gonna run the uh, and an actually heavier gauge wire to the inverter in order to run the inverter from the, using the battery. So there will be a, a positive red wire or the positive there. So they all will come out of this end. So this is a very deep box. So in the future, if I want to put two battery in here, I could do it. And it's it's kind of like hide this. 
outside our view, it's not obvious that I have a house buried in the vehicle at all. All right. So I purposely build with a little gap on the bottom for the wire to run in and for easy removal if needed to. Right now, yeah, you can see the controller show is uh, the status of the battery. It have 13.4 volt for the battery. There's no input from the solar panel because we're not connecting it. One amp. Oh, it must be using the the controller using the battery, so you you using the point one amp. Anyway, on top I actually reuse the previous uh, yeah cup holder. Remember, it used to be down on the bottom. But now I'm going to do it up here. Let me take you to the other side. So I'm pretty much going to butt it all the way back over here. So I still have to figure out how to mount this. So next twist, that's when I'm going to bring you back. Yeah, it's not going to be awkward looking like this. So now I have more surface to mount. I used to have a temperature um, meter to monitor. This is the one. And a um, carbon monoxide uh one or so it's, I'm gonna mount it by behind here, behind a this box, so everything's gonna be location for all that. So let me let me take you to the side, let you see what's it look like in the front where the driver's seat is. Yeah, so this is the bottom part, have a built-in cup holder. So now it's about the right height as my uh, hand rest. It's about the right same height, so perfectly. So all I have to do is trim the edge over here make it flush and then I have to figure out how to mount this thing so make it look nice easy to remove if I needed to because I like to remove this box if I needed to all I have to is lift the box out so I gotta figure a way to, to get make it mounted down here secure but easily remove if needed so right here there's a ton of possibility I can do remember that the Where's that green basket? I used to have a green basket for all the knickknack. Well, that will be here then. Well, thanks for watching. Come back next week. I will show you the final finished product of this uh, center console slash storage for my house battery. 1200 watt hour house battery, which can be charged either solar panel, fixed solar panel, or uh, one of those flexible, uh, not flexible, but portable one. But in order to do that, I need to do some uh, uh, creative uh, wiring in order for me to do both of them. And it's still, cons you know, like not showing up too much. All right, catch you on the next one. Bye for now.